ice cores have the great advantage that they are sedimented year by year and they keep frozen in the real sense uh, most of the chemical species. So going back in time we can reconstruct the past pollution, we can look at the bubbles in the ice and uh, in the bubbles we have the air, so a sort of paleo air which uh, remain entrapped into the ice. So looking at the chemical composition of the air into the bubble and in the ice itself uh, we can reconstruct both the temperature and the gas composition and the chemical composition of the past atmosphere. It tells us that we have a recurrent story over the last 800,000 years. Recently what we saw is that um, there is a huge increase in the, in the greenhouse gases recorded in the ice which match quite well what is happening in the uh, monitoring in the atmosphere in many different places around the world. Lower latitudes uh, oh, they're all warming up quite fast but the Arctic is warming up two, three or four times as fast and that means that, that all the effects that we see are happening uh, much more rapidly in the Arctic, especially the, the melting of ice, especially in the summer. And this has further effects on other aspects of the climate system. So it's, it's a very big change. And for instance, when you look at a satellite picture of the Earth in the summer, uh, northern summer in space, it now looks blue at the top end instead of white. So there's a big change to the whole planet that's, that's due to this change in the Arctic. Well, the, the, this Arctic death spiral, it, it's produced by uh, working out the volume of ice in the Arctic in each month of the year. So that's the area that we get from satellites multiplied by the thickness that we get from submarines. And so we have the volume of ice in the Arctic in each month of each year. And we go back to the 1970s and then uh, as we go around the clock, if there were no change, everything would stay at the same distance from the centre, the same amount of ice in the same month of each year. But in fact, we find that, that each year there gets to be less ice um, in, in a given month, and so it, it spirals in towards the centre.